today is Friday of the sixth week of Easter. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Matthias. Our first reading describes his election to Judas's place among the 12 disciples. It all makes sense. Judas committed suicide. They needed a 12th. They elected Matthias. The theme here is that life goes on. Good things happen, bad things happen. We react as best we can, and life goes on. It sounds like a country music song, and it is. The song was written in 1970 by Lynn Anderson and recorded by Anderson and George Jones. The refrain goes like this. So smile for a while and let's be jolly. Love shouldn't be so melancholy. Come along and share the good times while we can. This is pretty much what Jesus says to us in today's gospel. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. And from the same chapter of the Gospel of John in yesterday's gospel reading, he adds, Amen, amen, I say to you, you will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. We must recognize, of course, that scripture isn't a folk song, but folk songs capture an earthy wisdom that not surprisingly is stated more grandly in the epic texts of scripture. Scripture carries God's wisdom and above all, God's promise that we all need to hear. We live in a time when many in the world rejoice, like Republicans voting Liz Cheney out of office. And yet newspaper accounts suggest that even Republicans realize this may be a short-lived victory. So they re-gerrymander districts and restrict voting options, and some of us weep. Jesus' promise, though, is that we can find a deeper peacefulness if we keep centered on the good things of our lives, family, friends, good fortune, the beauties of nature, and occasional brave moves, like the Vatican putting the kibosh on U.S. bishops' attempts to refuse communion to the president. Jesus didn't promise us a rose garden. If our lives are well-regulated and convenient, we are among a fortunate few. But he does promise us his joy in the midst of all else. So today, be in touch with the things that give you joy. Pray in thanksgiving. Enter into that deeper interior joy and smile for a while and let's be jolly. Love shouldn't be so melancholy. Come along and share the good times while we can.